Uh, hello and welcome back. We are back again to work over the weekend. And today's job is going to be going up there, sort out a box gutter between the conservatory and the roof of the house. Uh, we've got a leak on the inside. So we'll get the scaffolding up and we'll go and have a look. Well, that makes some noise. But yeah, I'll see you soon. Right, so that's his box gutter. As you can see, the house wall, it's conservative roof. And the leak's just in front of Grandad. But everything seems to be in order. The lead's got a couple of splits in, but it's not as if they're gonna do any damage, so not too sure just yet. Uh, so they've got the roof stripped off now. Uh, just to have a look, see if there's any splits or anything in this part of the roof. But we've also realized when we take these, because they're a metal tile, they're not uh, usual concrete tile or whatever. There's a lot of condensation underneath them, uh, which you wouldn't expect to be that much but there's there's a lot more than what you think so we're gonna keep going investigating and see what we can find uh, so the plan is we're gonna cut these four for twos so they'll go from really thin to thicker at the other end to create fall down the gutter and yeah we'll cut these we'll see you after that Right, so that is what we mean by fairings. Then they go to nothing at that end, so it makes a slope. So yeah, now we've got to cut some OSB to put in the bottom. Yeah. What? Um, four or two. You only bought two. Don't worry then, that'll do all right. Um, that's wooden there because it's probably not got yeah. yeah. Were well, they the best ones you made yet, Dad? They are some, they, yeah, they were better ones done with tracks. Yeah. Right? More happy to do. Yeah, because usually we'll use chalk line, snap it through, and then we'll just use a normal circular well, saw. Uh, it kind of butters it, so we decided to use tracks all this time and we made, made a good job. So now we're on to cutting this piece of... Yeah, I'm on it. What's it called? OSB, that's it. Uh, so now we're cutting this to go in the bottom of the channel and then we're going to make some U shapes and yeah. Uh, that's what we decided, or what Dad's decided to do. Alright, it's all me. Yep. Oh, I'm not impression. taking out glory for it. How much is it coming in? So... About half inch, Dad. He's decided to, because it's rolled up at, in the gutter, he's decided to move them in from the side of there. So not having to worry about that. Yeah, that's what's going to go in the gutter. It's going to fall either way. So, yeah. That's that, so I'll see you soon. Alright, so that's the gutter finish for plastics and before we put the resin in, uh, which is down there. It's a GRP, so we'll mix some resin in. I'll mix a hardener with it, and then it'll set up over time. Uh, so yeah, we'll show you that when we get on with it. See you soon. Uh, so what Dad's on with now is acetone, which just clears all the grease and... Because we've been using sticks all to stick these down, uh, they, they keep it greasy and sticky. So you want it as clean as you can have it. Yeah, it'll be doing that. Uh, so that's now. So, so 
So we're putting the roof back together now. I'm gonna put some more felt in here because there's some holes in it and whatever. Uh, but yeah, we'll cover this up and then I'll see you after that. So that is today done, we've got that finished. Uh, we're back here tomorrow actually, to do some pointing on the back of the house, because it's pretty much disintegrated, there's nothing left. So we're just gonna redo that. And that should be it for this job. Uh, but yeah, now we're on the way home. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.